Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joshua Eastup, and this week I am going to be reviewing my Sony A6100. I recently bought it roughly a month ago, and I finally had the chance to use it, so I'm going to tell you my thoughts. I, I bought my first Sony Alpha camera about a year ago. It was the Sony A7 III. I fell in love with the Sony Alpha series because I wanted something mirrorless, but I always so I also wanted something that was good with video and everything I read and watched was Sony Alpha, Sony a7 III, awesome autofocus, super good color, super good picture, everything. It was exactly what I wanted, but then I wanted a second Sony body. I wanted a second Sony body to use as a second body. I wanted it to have a second angle for videos. I wanted to use it for a second camera whenever I'm shooting weddings. And I wanted, I didn't necessarily need something like the a7 III for a second body. I wanted something smaller. I wanted something that I could use that would be a second camera, a second body. So I did some research and I picked up the a6100. It is crop sensor compared to the full frame a7 III, which isn't a huge deal to me. Full frame, I have one, so I didn't necessarily need to. And it's more, it's smaller, more compact than the a7 III. And it, the grip's fine. Like it still has the same grip as a7 III. Like I said, this one's a little smaller than the a7 III. It's not a bad camera. And I do like that you can flip the screen up. So in case I, whenever I do use it as a vlogging camera, I can kind of, kind of hold it up like this. Look at myself. Whenever I use it as a vlogging camera, I can hold it up like this. Look at myself, flip the screen back down. I have three downfalls with it, I think. I didn't like how it had the hot shoe right here in the center of it, just because, like I said, if, if I were to flip it up, I couldn't put a microphone there because the hot shoe's right there. But small rig, the geniuses that they are, came up with an invention to relocate the hot shooter right here. So I bought that. I think it was like $25, $30 for that. I will put a link in the description below for the small rig hot shoe mount. And that really irritated me. And the memory card being on the bottom and one memory card slot is, it's not a deal breaker, but it is nice having two memory card slots just in case you wanna shoot with a backup memory card. That way everything gets saved onto two memory cards instead of just one, just in case you're doing a wedding or a big event, you always wanna be able to have backup. So the one card slot is a little bit of an issue for me, but like I said, this will be my second body, so it's not a huge deal. And it's kind of irritating to me that the record button, kind of hard to see, the record button is right here. That's kind of weird because the A7 III is like right here in the back of it. So that's kind of an odd spot. I don't know why they would put that there, but again, it's not a huge deal. But overall, I do like this camera. I haven't used it for much low lighting because I did read that it's not the best in low lighting situations, but I do still want to test it out and see what I can get out of it because I do a lot of concert photography, but considering what's going on in the world, can concerts have been pretty much canceled for the rest of the years. So I'm probably not gonna be able to use this that much for concerts just because the world's crazy right now. But again, I wanted to get something that was kind of small, second body. Again, it didn't need to be full frame since I have the a7 III as my main camera. I wanted something that I could use, set up quick, put on a tripod and record. Another downfall, it doesn't have the picture profiles like the a7 III does. So I feel like I don't get as much dynamic range out of it as I would my a7 III. But again, it's not a huge deal. I just feel like it would be nice if it had those picture profiles. And another key feature that was not included in the a6100 that I wish they did include, it does not have in-body stabilization. I have that in my Sony a7 III. And again, since this is my second body, it's not super necessary to have the, the in-body stabilization. It's just something that'd be nice to have, just in case I don't wanna break out a gimbal or break out my a7 III. If there's just a quick shot that I want with the a6100, I wanna be able to get a nice pan or tilt motion. But again, it's still a great camera and I will continue using it as a second body. So yeah, so those are my general 
final thoughts on the A6100. Now, would I recommend it to you if you already have a Sony A7 III or a higher end Sony? I would recommend this as a second body, but if you're wanting to use this as a professional, your only camera, I don't think I would recommend this as your only camera unless you want to focus on just vlogging. If you just want to focus on vlogging, then yeah, sure, you could get what you want out of this just because flip the screen up and go like that but if you're using it for more professional commercial shoots i wouldn't necessarily recommend this camera for you but again if you're just focusing on like family vacation vlogging or wanting to use it as a second shooter camera then yeah i would recommend it but again if you want it for if you want it for professional one solo camera I would not recommend it, but I personally love using it as my second camera and my vlogging camera when I'm out skating or going on a walk or something. I can throw it up on my Joby Pod like so. Throw it up on my Joby Pod. Flip this up. Put the microphone here, but the microphone's currently on that camera, but flip it up like that and we'd be good to go. So yeah, I would recommend it if you want to use it for that. So those are my thoughts on the Sony A6100. I love it and it's a good second body. So if you're looking for a decent, inexpensive second body, I highly recommend the Sony A6100. If you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a little while, you will know that I have a video series called Staying Motivated. And I actually ended up taking almost a two month break from that series just because I ended up going back to work and I had trouble finding people to interview for the series. But over the past couple weeks, I recorded three new episodes. So those will be coming over the next three weeks. So check back this coming Wednesday for a new episode of Staying Motivated. It is with one of my friends. He's a photographer, videographer, from the local Dayton area so come back and check that out and as always I make videos here every Sunday so if you're if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel like this video and comment what you'd like to see next for me is there a piece of gear that you want to see me review or just whatever you guys would like to see from me I'd love to hear from you and I hope to see you guys on Wednesday with my the newest episode of staying motivated have a great week and I will see you guys then stay motivated